A big hello to you, my Minecraft friend, Radio Man 3 here. Let's play some Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Hanging out here down at the AZ Walking Man Mine. I did a little work. Did a little work. I had a uh, creative slump. So I came down here, I thought, you know what, I'm going to strip mine for a little while, and I'm going to think about it. And uh, I thought about it, and I've got quite a bit of cool things to show you guys today. So I went down this way, and I went all the way to the edge of the map, all the way down there. I found uh, three cave entrances, and towards the very end, it actually opened into <laughs> an abandoned mine shaft area. And uh, there was a cave spider spawner that I broke, and uh, that went really fast. And uh, then I started dropping torches, and sure enough, we had been down into that portion of it as well, the abandoned mine shaft. So it is just absolutely huge. It just goes on and on and on. So I did strip mining. Uh, as I said, I went all the way down and back, so this is what I've got. Uh, lots of stuff. i got good ores. I've got redstone, of course, some diamonds. I used a couple of those. Uh, some lapis again. Oh, there's... There, ooh, look at that. I'll take those with us. Uh, ender pearls. <laughs> and some coal. Some coal blocks as well. I use the silk touch. And uh, in this one, we've got, uh, you know, almost two rows of smooth stone and then a bunch of cobblestone because we're going to need that for the uh, mob spawner trap. We want to make sure we have that stuff. Uh, so we're, we're good to go. We got some nice supplies, so I'm going to send those up. I want to watch these at the switch. Last time I did this, I swear these cards disappeared on me and vanished. So I just want to make sure they make it past the switch just fine this time. And then I got something really neat to show you. Really neat to show you. I think you're going to be really happy about this. And Okay, look at there. It goes boom, ba boom, ba boom. All right. Looking good, looking good. Steaming just fine. Oh, I love that. That is awesome. Look at that. All right, that comes together. Those supplies should be up there when we go up there. Let's hope that's how it works out. Uh, real quick, here, take a look here. I put some more vines up, and uh, they're really coming in nice up there. They're spreading across the wall up there. It looks pretty cool. We do have a bit of an issue here, though. We have some encroachment. It uh, spread to the left here. And then uh, it made itself to the floor. So it's uh, been moving along down here. But I'm going to let it go for a little bit and just see uh, how it turns out. Now, as I've mentioned, this was our old bedroom. But uh, I thought about making this into a rail station. And we were talking about the fact that wouldn't it be cool if we could go up this ravine, turn a corner, go down the other ravine, and run to the end portal through here and make a really awesome ravine kind of rail system through here. I've, I've got to come up with something in my head, but I'll, I'll, I'll get it. That piece of cobblestone right there with a the torch, let's go up there and take a look at that. I am dying to show you guys uh, what i got going on here. I don't want to throw myself in lava, so I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. I am not very good with the ender pearl just yet. <laughs> That's for sure. I've not had them long enough to get good with them yet. Uh, but we can get right up to there. Bingo. That's exactly where I wanted to be. Okay, guys, we're going to come up from there. Okay, the rail starts there. It comes up this ravine, and it climbs nice and easy up this ravine, right up the center, or as best we can. I really don't want to put a bunch of curves in this thing, but uh, we'll see how it, has to, how it has to lay out in order to get up to here. Then we are going to come through this area here, and I may actually build a waterfall back in this corner, up way up high, and have it fill this with water right through here. And maybe break that open a little bit and let the water flow through a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to mess with stuff, but I think a big waterfall right here with some lights next to it would look really cool as we come up around this corner. And then we head down this hall right here. So I just, you know, I looked at the map, of course, and, and figured out where it was I wanted to turn. And uh, voila, we'll make a nice curved turn right here. Curve this out. It'll look really good through here. And then if we stay right on this path right here. This will take us to the, well, I'll just let you see it. It's gorgeous. Look at it show up in the void fog like that. Isn't that awesome? The library. There she is. Okay. So the rail comes off of here, and then it cuts across here. Okay. We ride right along this side of the library, or the other idea I had was to go up above, maybe, maybe further escalate us. Okay. We could actually... Uh, no, this is probably about as far back as we want to go. I don't think I want to take out too much more of this. I, I don't want to mess with the, the natural look of it. You can't recreate the ravines in this game. It's just not, I don't think it's possible. But anyways, we'll go up this way and um, maybe go up on there. 
and then right across the top of that and then drop down because the end portal is just on the other side of that library because we come up right there we turn the corner right there and we go down that's right there at the end of this ravine right above that hot magma down there so anyways how about that does that not sound like it will be an awesome ride to be cruising along in a cart in here having some you know good beams i thought i'd do the uh <laughs> can i just call it pine <laughs> spruce is such a difficult word it's such an odd word spruce it just requires so much thought to say properly spruce anyways the pine i want to use that dark pine the dark wood i don't recall just dark wood dark wood with the uh, stone brick up here or we may even go with cobble cobblestone at the top and at the bottom and then uh, just a nice cross beam in here because pretty soon we're going to have the logs that go uh, you know sideways that'll be nice so we can do that up across the top and then we'll ride the rail right through here and we'll go to the end portal boom like that with an awesome ride with a lot of really cool stuff to see so and this did not take long at all this took me just maybe an hour to hollow this out and, and get it ready to, to, to show you kind of the plan for that yeah so I think that will be really neat and then on our way back this is the view we have as we go back into the uh, the GE mining facility so we'll have a really cool pod through here it'll be open though no glass around it or anything else no glass I want it wide open so we can really see it well when we we uh, power rail through here I think it'll be awesome so uh, stick around for that one that is coming uh, at a build soon near you let's, uh, let's get ourselves back out of here Boop. there we go Ooh, you know what I think I want this pump I want this watermelon thank you I'm really surprised that watermelon hasn't been trampled yet. All right, so I hope you like that plan. I think you do. I think you do. I think it's a great idea, a really great idea. So let's uh, let's go upstairs, and uh, I want to show you something else I was working on this weekend. So strip mining for me is a great way to just kind of chill out and think about a project and not be disturbed by anything, because really all you're doing is just breaking blocks in front of you. It's, it's just... It's kind of mind-numbing, but at the same time, it helps me think of, uh, I don't know, gets my imagination going. You know what I'm saying? John Cole, my friend. John Cole. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to look up and see what video you came in. There's actually a video named Meet John Cole. Anyways, I apologize, John Cole. I did not give you your just, and I'm, I'm still not giving it to you. <laughs> sorry. sorry about that. All right, let's go out. Snowball, how's it going? And we're, we're still going up. Let's go on out to the NPC village. I've got something to show you. And we could take a look at it. It was right out, right over there. Take a looky there. Sweet. Look good over there? That blue glass shining in that desert sun. Hot. Boom. That's right. Open those shutters, baby. Uh, I replaced our snow golems. Uh, real quick, what I want to what I want to mention, uh, I didn't want to make. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to mention. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Is that um, I think we need to put uh, like a wood fence around the GE wall, like maybe six blocks out or so, just to keep the mobs from getting up against here. Because this whole wall was was dead. They'd killed all of them, and I actually had a creeper blow up on that guy in the corner and blow out most of that corner over there. So. Um, that's happening on a pretty regular basis. A pretty regular basis. Something else small I wanted to talk to you about. As you can see, and uh, I know you see it. I, I don't know about this. I just don't know about this, uh, this pumpkin thing. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it lights it up. It does. But it is absolutely preposterous looking. I mean, it just looks... I don't know. I don't like it. I, I don't know if I like it or not. I'm, I'm kind of leaving them here just to see and I'll let them grow on me a little bit, but I'm not too, I'm not too sure about that. We'll revisit that later. We'll revisit that one later. Here's our staircase, my friend. This gets us up and down and into the wall. It's got a really nice view as you're coming, uh, coming down. Uh, this is the, the uh, of course, the, the top side. But uh, that's the uh, staircase I built. I thought it made sense to have it as we came off the pod. This is where, you know, we're going to be closest to it right here. By the way, the Gamer Gold Lounge is going to go right in here. Right in this area, right here. And I want to replicate the NPC Village Church. 
so I'm going to be getting some photos of that and uh, replicating that I think over in this corner here we don't have the church in this village and I I'm, I want the building doggone it I wish this had been a complete village it would have been perfect so I want to put the church right over here and uh, complete our village because it is missing that and I miss that tall structure it would look really cool right here coming up with the uh, G in the background I think that would look pretty pretty awesome pretty awesome all right, on to the next discovery over the weekend. You know, it pays to strip mine once in a while. You have uh, good ideas come running through your head, and then you start running around. Uh, oh, speaking of running around, so I was uh, kind of working and these, doing these, this pumpkin thing and just seeing what I thought of it and all. And uh, I, I heard zombies right here. We've always had uh, zombies or something moaning and groaning as we walk past this oops, this spot. So what I did was, I thought, you know what, I'm going to clear out some of these uh, these mobs that are just sitting in holes and stuff, you know? Well, I opened that up, and there's actually a tunnel that runs underneath this entire village. It runs all around underneath here. And, if you recall, in past videos, anytime I'm trying to talk to you people, you, my friend, my Minecraft friend, we hear mobs right here right in this area all the time it's usually a zombie or a spider well there's a good reason for that <laughs> let me show you come here real quick let me show you something yeah yeah do you hear him mm -hmm. you see it yeah there's a spider you know what this is this is a spider spawner <laughs> i kid you not we have a spider spawner inside our village it's right there and this is a bit of a cave as well this goes on for a little bit. Hey, ew, ew. Ah, taste the fire of my blade. Oh, creeper. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not a good guy to have around. There we go. Oh, I should eat something, huh? Anyway, so... All right. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm getting all excited about it. I'm losing my train of thought here. Eat the bread, eat the bread. All right, so let's just, uh, we'll, we'll close, we don't have to put anything up there. They can't get through, that's a one block hole, so we're good there. Um, so where was I? Where was I? I am sorry. I lost my train of thought here. Um, okay, so anyways, I, I came down here, and I was I was really surprised to see the tunnel uh, on the other side over by the uh, blacksmith shop. But then I, I came down here, and I found this spider spawner, and we're going to turn this into a farm. That is our next project. Right now, we're going to get this thing started today. But I realized that this cave was here as well. And, uh, well, you know, it's right underneath our property. I mean, it is directly beneath us. And uh, we've been running around on top of it all this time. Look at this thing. Look at this place. I don't think it's going to be that... No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop right here. See? This was such a great find for the GE. I mean, think about how great a find this is. Now we can get this lit up for sure, and uh, a lot less mobs are going to be uh, showing up. Uh, you know, they'll have to want to spawn in the mob spawner. So, <clears throat> you know, before we can really build that thing, we've got quite a bit of lighting up to do. And uh, I, I guess I feel like that's something I should take you guys with me on. That's a project we're going to do together, so... Um, you know, we should do what it takes to get to that project together when you're playing on uh, uh, hard survival mode, you know? That's... Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Up you go, my friend. Oh, feel, the, feel the fire. Oh, gosh dang it. Why did they die from me? What am I doing wrong? I'm just not going to be getting a very good hit on them. Is that it? Too much of a wimp. Should I be charging these guys and just slaughtering them? Oh, beautiful. A dead end as well. Excellent. 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 All right. I was kind of worried that this cave might go on too long and we would have to uh, get started on the spider spawner in the next episode, but I really wanted to get on it today because I do have the st this stuff with me. Oh, wow. That was... What a great find, right? And then, uh, like I said, I lit up the other ones uh, also, so we should be pretty good down here. Although, what I did notice is that as I lit this up... Am I going the right way? I am, I think, yeah. As I went, um, as I lit up this area down here, I had zombies showing up in the village, spawning all of a sudden. And I haven't seen a mob spawn in there 
ever. I thought I had it really well lit, but they were roaming around in there. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to uh, what to think. I guess I've got more lighting to do uh, above ground as well. So we'll do that. What am I doing this for? All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. Of course, a, a marvelous spider spawner. And uh, we, I know we have the other one. Hey, well, look at you. Yeah, yeah. I'll have that to go, please. Thank you. Fire bad, yes. You need one more, though. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, we've got the other spider spider that we've been holding on to. It's just sitting right behind the GE, so we can uh, just bust that one down. We don't even have to worry about that one at all. We don't need it anymore. This one's inside the village. We'll build a really cool little uh, uh, building on top of it, and uh, we'll turn this into a spider spawn XP farm, right? Yeah. We'll get XP off it, and we'll get string off of it, and we'll have uh, all the wood we wool that we need. All right, there we go. So what we want to do is, of course, light this up and kill all these spiders. So let's start with that. Oh, yes. Burn, spider. He's trying to get to us, and he can't. He's just not smart enough to get around that. All right, let's do that, and that, and that, and that there. All right. Hmm, this is where I came down and uh, first attacked the spawner. Right underneath there. Uh, nothing really uh, catchy in here. A bucket, though. A free bucket. And it is a chest, so we'll take that. Uh, I want, I would like to leave the cobblestone. What I think I'll do is I'll put the cobblestone back down at the bottom. We're going to do like we did with the other ones. With the zombie spawner and with the skeleton spawner. I'm going to simply uh, square out the room. They're going to spawn, and we're going to run water, a water trough, in one direction here. I'm trying to figure out which direction I'm going to go with it. Um, so that we, of course, have uh, have it head in the right direction to make the most sense. And let's see, where's our, our stairs are right there. So let's, okay, let's continue that to be the doorway on that side. We'll come down the stairs, and... Let's light this up just a little bit more and continue on this direction. Okay, we'll continue on this way. Maybe what we'll do is kind of get this laid out today and we'll build it uh, on the next one. We'll see. Yeah, we'll continue this way. We need to come one more. Uh, I hate one row staircases, they drive me absolutely crazy. I can't handle them. It's just. It's just too much to ask of me to have to do those one wide staircases. I can't handle them. I love the uh, the bigger staircases because then you can make them look awesome too. Like that. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to be coming down and... Hmm. Okay, assuming this is going to be... This is going to be the side we'll be coming out of. So let's get this out of here. No, 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 don't go crazy there. I enchanted this pick, and we got efficiency and, uh, and what's it, efficiency and unbreaking. So it's a really great digging pick. It's just a really fun digging pick. Yeah, let's get these out of here. So last week was a crazy week for me. We had a wildfire and uh, some evacuations, no, well not just some, 460 some odd people were evacuated out of their homes. And this fireman, it started literally with a little spark. Just somebody being an idiot out in the forest. One little spark and it endangered people's homes, their lives, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's cost millions and millions of dollars to fight. People were forced out of their homes. Um, and this fire, I mean this fire went from being a spark to uh, 5,000 acres in within a few hours just boom it exploded and uh, it's just uh, amazing how careless people are with fire in the forest in Arizona where it's so dang dry it's just mind-boggling sometimes hmm so I was really busy with that last week there was a lot of extra work 
Okay, we want the water's going to flow eight blocks, correct? Eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be where they're going to fall off eventually. Let's do this. So I got this line. We're actually going to drop this cobblestone down uh, probably two blocks. So we're going to definitely do that. Uh, so how many blocks am I at? One, two, three, four. Wow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I should probably go four back that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take one row out of all of this. I'm just going to do a nice room. I know sometimes this, maybe the way I build these doesn't exactly produce the maximum amount of spiders you're supposed to get or something like that, but I'm into this to make it uh, look really awesome too. I don't want to just, uh, it'll, it'll be just fine. You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Just got to do things right. It's got to look good. So you know what? Maybe what I should do is splice. We'll uh, empty this room. I'll empty this room out and get the floor moved down to a couple. And then we'll come back and discuss uh, the next step. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So uh, hang out for this split second. All right, I have been fiddling around with this for quite some time now. We've got our stairs coming down. Uh, I cleared this room out. I've actually got a little bit of water going here. We've got a trough. I've, I dropped the spiders three blocks, and I'm sending them into a one-block slot that is three wide. It's actually four wide right at the edge, so they get sucked into there faster, I hope. I'm not sure if I have done this right. I'm not sure. Um, i got the ceiling set right, just one block above. So I think we're good to go there. Um, we'll run water all along this wall, and that'll push them off into this ledge here. They'll get sucked down into there, and then hopefully, if, I'm, if I don't have this wrong, I think they, they climb up three blocks from the last water block down here. So they should come up three blocks and stack up right down here. I think that's how that's going to work. And uh, hopefully that's the case, and hopefully we're far enough away from the spawner box that it will just continue to send them. Uh, I guess we could figure that out, right? What are we looking at here? Minus 14, so okay. So, minus 28, so ooh. That's 14 blocks. Okay, so we're still within the distance of the bomb box. The, the spawner box will still see us here. And I think we are far enough away. I think it was pulling the spiders far enough away that uh, it'll keep sending them as long as we want it to. And we can let them build up there. And then uh, we'll put a crusher in and all that good stuff as well. But let's see if this is going to work just to begin with because I have no clue. We're going to run up this way and try to see them, I guess, if we can. See how they, how they move in here. Well, let's get the water in first. Might be a good idea. There we go. Okay, there's our water. Let's give it a try and see what happens here. I think the room is also one too wide. It's not supposed to be this wide. That egg, that hole right there is not supposed to be three wide, and it is. So I don't know. Wow, this water is really tough to fight. Let's get the sword out. I think it'll work. I think this is going to work. I hope it works. I really would love to have this going. Uh, back up. Back up, Buster. Alright, let's see what uh, happens here. Besides them coming up here after me like this. We'll get rid of this. You know what, I've got some glass block. I don't want to use the glass just yet. Let's, let's just see what happens. Okay, they're getting pulled in there. That's good. That's real good. Let's see what's happening down here. Okay, it looks like they're going to be able to come up this way and pile up here. That's good. And we'll put a crusher down here so we can crush them. 
Um, you know what? I might need to be down one level on this. I'm not real sure about that. We can hit him, though, right from here, right? Yeah, we can get him from here. And then we've got to get the drop pickup, too. The drop pickup. So, let's see. Boom. Fighting the water, fighting the water. They can't do it very well. And into the trough they go. That's great. Oh, creeper. What the heck? Where did that happen? What happened there? Oh, nice. Okay, so this is great. This is working out just fine. So we're gonna have to come up with some kind of a neat, um, a neat way to deck this this thing out. Okay, I've got most of it lined in cobblestone. So you know, well, this room isn't finished. You guys know me, <laughs> but we do have it uh, kind of established and set up to how we're hoping it's going to uh, somewhat look. We'll come down the stairs. We'll have a, a viewing area right here. Of course, you know, maybe we'll do this whole corner as sort of a viewing thing with a column right here with uh, glass windows so we can actually see the spider spawner and see them spawning and then we'll have another set of stairs coming down here and we'll set up um, the pistons. We want pistons uh, two wide and well two in the bottom two in the middle so that when we pull a lever on both sides of the pistons okay so when we pull a lever it closes across the top of them and crushes them uh, even if they're just until they're dead, if we want just the spider web for the wool. And then, um, or we can set it up, and I've never done that before, and I don't know that I want to attempt it. The Norlas, the Norlatch, is it the, the Norlatch, I think it's called. And that's where we can uh, push a button, and it'll crush them for a designated amount of time, and then they will, um, we can just come up and punch them once, and they'll die. But we'll have to try that out, too. That works pretty good right now. I mean, we're, we're getting XP off of them, and we're also, uh, I mean, it'd be pretty easy to put a little thing right in the middle down there where the string collects and comes to us. So I think this is, as far as getting a start on it today, is good. I think we've gotten quite a bit done today. Uh, I showed you all the upcoming projects. we got quite a few projects coming. That is for darn sure. Uh, some really cool projects, I think. Especially the, uh, I'm looking forward to doing that, um, uh, the, uh, ravine path to, uh, to the uh, end portal. I think that's going to be really cool. There we go. Something like that, right? And then they, uh, they pile up up here. Yeah, and then we'll clear this out a little bit as well. So we've got a, a nice glass path for them to follow or something so we can watch them go by and yeah we'll deck this thing out okay I'll, I'll think on it I what I wanted to really get it going today was just to get it going and see if we could get spiders to come down here and uh, clump up and it, it definitely works what by the way where was that creeper where the heck was that creeper I totally forgot that we had a creeper blow up did he spawn inside here no he didn't spawn in there there's no way right there's no way a creeper could have spawned inside that trap, is there? I guess it's possible. Anything is possible. So, okay, guys, what do you think of that, huh? We got our spider spawner started. If anything else, it works right now. I mean, it works right now. We can, we can sit here and kill spiders. I can get a bunch of stone swords down here. We could sit and do this all day long, too, you know? But it's not going to be hard to uh, put the, uh, whatchamacallit on, the... Um, the crusher you know we wouldn't have to do the the nor uh i, I can't even know if, i don't even know if i'm saying it properly um that oh my goodness gracious oh my gosh what has happened here <laughs> oh get out of there <laughs> oh okay i don't know if i can know how to make that switch it would be just as easy wouldn't it to pull a lever and sit here and go one one thousand two one thousand to seven one thousand hit it again and then Maybe throw a poison potion on them, huh? And kill them that way and get their XP that way. I know we tried it with the zombies and it didn't work, but maybe we can rig this up a little bit better so it does work. Anyways, you can see where we're going with this. So we'll finish this up on the next episode, of course. We've got to get it all decked out and make it look good and become part of the GE71. That is what we've got to do. So I hope you like this. I hope you love the fact that it's inside our village. And uh, I couldn't think of a better thing to have found uh, to add to the GE71 as opposed to having our own uh, spider spawner right here 
within the facility. That this is our third spawner within our facility. So that is really cool. Very, very cool. All right, guys, this is the Radio Man 03. Sure would love it if you guys hit that like button. If you're enjoying the videos, you're enjoying the GE71 uh, adventure we're going on here today. And uh, we have been asleep for the past few months now. This is episode 51. On the Radio Man 03, sure would love those subscriptions and those. Uh, uh, you know, the like. Hit the like button. I think that would be uh, really cool if you do that for me. And uh, as I mentioned, we'll, we'll, we'll finish this project up next time. This is the Radio Man 03. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you again next time.